Hello. Yes, that's right. British nationalists don't need social media. And that's social media in all its forms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Granted, you're better with it than without it, but it's not the be all and end all and we're doomed and we'll never be able to get our message out to the public ever, ever again. That's a load of baloney. Do you remember a video I made several days ago? I think it was Wednesday the 17th of April. It was about social media and an advertisement that had been placed on the back of a bus. I think the advertising agency was a search exterior on Media UK. And the message read something like this. More people will see this ad than visit a social networking site this week. Something like that. Give or take a word or two wrong. I'm not sure. But something like that. More people will see this ad than visit a social networking site this week. I think that's it verbatim. I think it is. But anyway... I've left a screenshot to the front. Now, uh, Search Exterior on Media UK, the advertising agency that placed that on the back of the bus, they're experts in that field and they would know more than anyone. So that debunks the social media nonsense, does it? That we need social media, otherwise we're doomed. We'd never get our message across to the public ever, ever again. And also, Nick Griffin, let's go back to 2001 in Oldham, right before social media. When we enter the white areas surrounded by hostile neighbours, when there'd be 20, 30 of us canvassing, leafleting, passing uh, the public leaflets, the public stopped and looked at us and went, wow, who's this lot? And then I followed behind in my car with a loud hailer, vote BMP, or something like that. And the public were in awe of us. People were coming out of pubs, public houses, Nick, you remember, running over and shaking your hand. Now, that sort of emotional feedback punch wallop you don't get from social media in fact social media just winds you up if the truth be known so social media doesn't have an emotional feedback uh punch wallop it, it doesn't does it no it doesn't whereas going into the white enclaves surrounded by hostile neighbors talking to the public in force does and especially uh because i'd left the bmp that by then when the true truck must have been uh, driving through these areas. I bet you the kids were running after it, shouting, here they are, here they are. People would have been listening to the message from the loud hailer. They'd have been reading uh, the messages on the side of the uh, the true truck. Uh, and they would have been in on also. They'd have, they'd have had respect as well. They, they, this lot means business. This lot's here for us. See, there's a personal emotional feedback. This lot's for us. They're here, they understand our plight. They're going to rescue us, these. They're going to put us first. There's an emotional feedback, an emotional wallop, an emotional punch, like I keep saying. Social media doesn't have that. Why are you being kicked off Facebook, Nick Griffin? I'll never know, because you're no threat to anyone, are you? Posting your nonsense. You're contained and controlled, just massaging your own ego and achieving nothing. And it's the same with all the other spies that are being kicked off. Jim Little Legs Dowson with his Knights Templar Christ. What a stupid name. Uh, Adam Walker's BMP. Uh, Paul Golding, Jada France and Britain First, Tommy Robinson. They all work with the secret state. Or it's two criminal proxies. Hope not his. Nick Lowe's did a Gable Sailor magazine. I don't know. Maybe all three. I don't know. So why have they kicked you all off? I don't know. But I made that video on the Wednesday you were kicked off. On the Thursday, I'm not saying that's the reason why, but I'm beginning to unravel all this now. And they don't like it, and Joe Owens is going to start revolutionising this into the in the white communities soon, right here first in Kensington, and hopefully in the white enclaves surrounded by hostile neighbours. I'm going to revolutionise this now, getting back into the white communities, talking to our people, driving through in a new truth truck that will be coming, right. This is the way forward. Yes. Social media, you're best with it than without it. But all it does is reinforce our side. It doesn't, it doesn't convince the public. Those that come to uh, whatever nationalist uh, Facebook page, they're already the converted. What wins people over is emotional attachment, support, personalising your message, driving through there with people looking, oh, they're here for us then. That's more effective than any Facebook page going, and Jones is going to start revolutionising this new weapon of ours that we should have been using decades ago. But it's better late than never. Okay, thank you.